everyone, and welcome to my um, guest designer project for the Inked Stamper, a local scrapbook store in St. Albert. And so the inspiration for my design was my mind's eye sleigh bells ring paper line. Although I do have some other embellishments that I'm going to use, this is my main focus. So what I'm making is an advent uh, calendar, and that's why I want to get it done quickly because it's already December 7th, I think. Um, and it's going to have, uh, I'm using a window, an old-fashioned vintage window that's been chalk painted, and it has a white frame, which I'll show you a little bit later on in the video. And so what I've already gone ahead and done is I made some little library pockets here out of the paper line. So I want to ink around them all in black and then glue them closed. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And so that's how they're going to show. And these are going to have the numbers on them. And I'm using um, the Prima ink. And this one is called Black Coal. So I'm just going to sit and watch TV and work on that. That's what I love about doing uh, projects. People always say, I don't have time, I don't have time. You know what, sometimes when you're just chilling and watching TV, you can do that. I found a template for these library pockets because I wanted, and what I did is I printed it 50% instead of 100% and I got the perfect size because I didn't want them big. So yeah, those are going to be awesome. And even where, you know where you score sometimes on paper? I noticed this paper kind of, the, the core of the paper kind of shows through. But with the black ink distressed all the way around, I, it, it will be fine. Some of the other elements I want to use are these Kaiser Craft wooden uh, reindeer. And who is this by? Oh, this is my mind's eye. Some really pretty brads. This is the sleigh bells ring my mind's eye. And they're bow makers. So I want to embellish the window with that. This is uh, Christmas the window cheer. with that. This is uh, Christmas cheer echo paper. Echo paper, Echo Park paper, I can't even talk, but aren't these cute? They're little buttons, adhesive buttons, and what else is in this? These are the My Mind's Eye 1, 2, 3, 4, that's what I'm going to use for the calendar. And then I got this washi tape, Cardabella, and it's got a whole bunch of holiday things, and these extra... Tags, same line, my mind's eye. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on this right I've now. Got all my library cards in or pockets inked up and glued together. So next I'm going to take these um, banners, which it's so nice because the job's already been done for you. All the numbers from one to twenty-five. And I noticed I'm gonna have to tweak some of them because some of them are a little bit too it came with this banner too. Christmas countdown, so I might put that on the window as well as part of an, of an embellishment. But if I just pull one out here, like you can see 20 is much too big for there. So what I will do is just tweak it a little bit and corner round it with my corner rounder if I need to, and so on and so forth. So I will get those all assembled as well. I'd shown you this sheet of paper. It was my last one before I cut it up. But if you can see how the word join, it was on a 12 by 12, and it looks like chalk. So when I first saw this, it was inside of a 12 by 12 frame, and it just looked amazing. It was it looked like somebody had done chalk art on it. So if you want a super, super home decorating idea that is so simple, go and pick up a piece of oh, sleigh bells ring. Uh, paper, my mind's eye, sleigh bells ring. On the other side, it's this red and white, but on this side, it's like a full joy. And popped in a frame, it looks like you chalked it. It's very, very cool. So this is how it's looking so far. There's the vintage window, and I have stapled, Richard helped me staple the twine into the side so you can see here I have to trim. So these bows were one of those, you know, you make them. It's kind of cute and I would ink it around it, of course, with the black ink again in keeping with the back black ink. I wanted to maybe paint these red, these two reindeer. 
I wonder if I'll put them at the bottom or the top. I don't know. You know how you just don't know? But that's kind of my plan. Either at the bottom or the top. And I was going to put them like that. And then there's this banner that says Christmas Countdown. And I'm going to make these red. But what I want to do is put a piece of the black paper underneath that so it pops out. So can you kind of... Now this here, um, <clears throat> this is my chalkboard window that I have at the back door. So I, I always have a clothes peg glued on it to hold the chalk. And you always have chalk there. So what I might do is all of these banners that are so cute in here, I might just pop one of the banners inside of there, one of these tags, or one of these sayings here. You see, like that big long one here that says, All is merry and bright. Just on top of that clothes pin. I'm not sure. You know how you're not sure. Then I wanted to take two of these little bratty things, maybe the Santa and the 25, and put them on either side of the bow. So it's a mat. I think this should be at the top, actually. You know that? Because it is introducing us to our Christmas countdown. I really do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put black paper underneath, have rain, red reindeers, or brown reindeers with red noses. Not sure. And then on either side of this thingy, I'm going to put one of these cool brads. Then at the bottom will be our bow. That's kind of fallen apart. It's not glued together yet. And we'll figure something out from there. Yeah, I like that way better. I think this is the cutest advent calendar. Wowzers. Loving it. I had the string of those blinking Christmas lights and their battery died, so I just cut the little battery pack off. And then to tone down some of the brightness of it and to make it a little bit more vintage, I'm going to brush them with gesso, just lightly, the tips. It might even look like snow, we'll see. So I've got lights that look sort of like that. See? That gold one could use a little... I just use a really dry gesso brush and just tone down the brightness on both sides of the lights. I mean, they're nice, but you know, there, I'll let those dry. I have to show you this coolest um, mat cleaner. My daughter made them, so they're crocheted pockets with a scrubber inside, so I just keep it here beside my my table, spread some water on it, and just cleans up like a dream, and then I can just go rinse it out in the sink, and then if, if there's a real uh, tricky spot, I'll just put some water on it, take the scrubber out, like that. It's dry too, so I should put some water on that. Usually I start off with it, I just dip it in the water in the sink and it's wet. But anyway, there you go. Look at that. Isn't this great? And then just a little cloth to just wipe it up after. It's great. So if you guys are interested in these, let me know. Because I think she has a few left over. And wouldn't mind mailing them out to you. They're awesome. I finished up my bow and I used one of the little tags and the other kit. I'll have all the list of stuff. And now I'm going to brighten up my reindeer. So I'm going to use Delusion Spray and this red is called Cherry Pie. Give it a little shake, shake, shake because these wooden reindeers are just too dull. Now I noticed because they were both on the packaging this way, so there's adhesive on, see there and there, so I'm going to see which one has the less they both do. So, yeah, because I want them to face each other. And I tried to sand it off and it didn't work. So we'll just give them a spray and see what happens. I think it's going to cover it all. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that just pretty? Very nice reindeer. That was easy peasy. So I'll let those dry. So I finished my DT project. 
And I think it turned out really nice. I'll go up close so you can see my reindeer. Christmas countdown. And then each individual library pocket has a card. And some of the tags came with the kit. I think there were 10 of them. So I had to make 15. And then of course I had to decorate the 15 to make them all match. But I'm glad I did. And then I was trying to think, what do I do with my loose clothespin that I always have there? So those lights that were um, gessoed, I clipped them in there. And then to balance that, there was another tag that said, all is merry and bright. And then I love that black and white, Merry Christmas to all, because it really echoes the black. So I think it turned out really good. You guys, let me know what you think. So what these tags are supposed to write, you know, you know what goes write something on the back, a little special thing. So yeah, I like how it turned out. Thanks for watching. Bye.